In this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove a saw blade from a saw that doesn't have a spindle lock or if the spindle lock is broken. And we're gonna do it right now. A while back, I made a video on how to remove a stuck circular saw blade. If you haven't seen it and you're interested, check it out, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, but in that video, I got a lot of comments saying my saw doesn't have a spindle lock uh, or they broke the spindle lock um, and didn't know how to take the blade off. So this video is for anybody that doesn't have a spindle lock or they broke their spindle lock on their saw. And I'll show you how to take the blade off without a spindle lock. This is the saw we're going to be using. It's a Makita circular saw. Um, this will probably work for not only a circular saw, but also a chop saw, uh, maybe a table saw. It will should work for a bunch of different things. Before you even get started, step number one, unplug the saw. Take the battery out if it's a cordless. Uh, just do not have power running through this because it can be dangerous. You don't want to accidentally turn the saw on and cut yourself and do damage. So step number one, get rid of the power source. Next, let's talk about what a spindle lock actually is. So you have your blade here, you have the bolt holding it on, and it usually comes with some kind of wrench like this. And if you're going to go to remove the blade and you do this, it's just going to spin. So most saws incorporate what's called a spindle lock, which is this little lever right here. You push this down, you hold it, spin the saw, and that kind of drops in. So I'm holding it, spin the saw. There it is, just locked into place. I'll do it again like this. There you go. So what that does is it locks the spindle, hence the name. And now you can grab your wrench, hold that spindle lock down and pull and loosen that bolt. And then you can take that bolt off and remove the blade. So if you don't have a spindle lock, We'll tighten this back up. That's what I'm going to show you. For the purposes of this video, we're going to pretend that this saw does not have a spindle lock. And it's probably a good idea to wear some kind of gloves like this, uh, you know, thick, uh, in case you accidentally hit the blade, because they can be sharp um, and you just want to be careful. Safety first. So the first method that I like to try is grab a screwdriver or something the size that can fit on the teeth of the blade like this. And you're going to want to remove this bolt counterclockwise. So you want to stop this blade from spinning. So when you grab this bolt and you spin it counterclockwise, you're going to notice the blade goes counterclockwise. So you want to stop that. And a good place to stop that is the guard right here or whatever with your saw is a good stopping point. That is pretty good on this one. Just put it in the, in the tooth there like that. And we'll see if we can get this thing loose. Just keep pressure on it and grab your wrench, whatever you're going to use and try and break it free. And there you go. So that is the first method. And I'm gonna take this blade right off and put a different blade on so I can show you what else you might come across. There you go. Obviously your blade might not be that easy to come off. And if that's the case, that video that I mentioned earlier, the stuck saw blade video. Again, I'll leave it in the description and you can check that out because that might be helpful if your blade is stuck. And we're gonna put this blade on here. This is a concrete blade. And what you're gonna notice about this is that it has different kind of holes on the edges here. Some blades will have bigger holes 
that one's a pretty small hole. You're not really going to fit anything in there. But this one, you can put the screwdriver right in there. And that'll hold right up against this guide here. So then, again, you can take your wrench, whatever you have, and break that free. So that's kind of the easiest method, um, putting a, a screwdriver in here. And yes, it probably will damage, or it could damage the sawtooth, uh, but if you're taking this off, more than likely you're replacing it, so I wouldn't worry about that too much. But let's say that you do this, and it's just slipping, or you don't have the right size screwdriver or something. And again, be careful when you're doing this. If, if it is slipping, you don't want to cut yourself. But the next method would be you open this up, and you get a large pair of vice grips. And you want this to be difficult to close the vice grips, because you want a nice, tight grip on this blade. Okay. So... Vice grips are locked on here, and you can see right here, it's stopping once it hits this. And you can take your wrench, if your saw doesn't come with this wrench, you can either get an adjustable or the right size socket or the right size wrench to do this, and just remove the bolt. So the goal is to stop the blade from turning. That is basically what the spindle lock is meant to do. If you have to, if this is really stuck, you can take some WD-40 or whatever you have around, even some tool oil to kind of break up that rust and free that up. And using a hammer, if it is stuck, to tap that wrench helps. But again, if you want to check out the video to removing a stuck circular saw blade, the link to that video is in the description of this one. Now, when you put a new saw blade on, this is loose. You just tighten it up as much as you can by hand, and you'll notice that it's going to turn. So it's going to turn this way. And this is probably a safer method, the vice grips for a new saw blade, because you don't want to damage it at all. And the teeth go an opposite way. So depending on the type of saw blade, you might not have enough material to catch on here. So this vice grip method is probably the best way to tighten a saw blade. So you lock it on there. And again, it's going to stop right here. Take your wrench and tighten it right up. Here's an example of a chop saw or a miter saw that You'll notice the saw blade has a nice big hole right here, which is where you could put your screwdriver. And this guard comes down and you have a nice piece of metal right here that you can hold that screwdriver against. Take your bolt, loosen it, put your new one on, go this way with your new blade, tighten that up, and you should be all set. Here's an example of a different saw. This is a circular saw as well. It's just a cordless with a different blade. And same thing, it has kind of a bigger hole. And as you go to loosen it, that can be rusted right up against there. Remove the bolt. And then when you put your new one on, go this way and tighten it up. Basically the goal is to stop this blade from spinning while you remove this bolt. Do what the spindle lock is meant to do. Again, most saws nowadays have a spindle lock, like this one is right here. Uh, but if you don't have one, I hope this helps you out. If you happen to have a different method for removing a saw blade without a spindle lock, please leave a comment. Let me know. Let everyone know. We're here to help each other out. If you want to see more content like this, you can click here and here-ish. Check those videos out. And if this is your first time, definitely consider subscribing. And if you like the video, give it a like. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.